better. Can't be better, can tell you. Good one, good one, and thank you. Now we move on to one of Palais and Dujan's favorite moves, the Oxford. By rolling the ball up the back of your opposite heel, as shown in slow motion, and flicking the ball over your head, you produce an Oxford. Only hour upon hour of stringent practice will see you perfect this amazing trick. The next move is a beauty when trying to shake off a tight defense. With a wink of the eye, you transfer the ball onto your opposite foot in a flipper motion. Backward dribbling is an excellent skill to possess. It allows you to keep the ball from the opposition while still controlling the flow of the game. Trapping is a basic skill that can be practiced by yourself. Try to have a soccer ball near you as much as possible to practice these skills. They may look easy, but producing good long balls on a consistent basis is the downfall of many a player, both young and old. Crossing and shooting provides fans with the most spectacular goals in soccer.
Once again, going down to the local park with a teammate is the only way to perfect this aspect of your game. Soccer is all about scoring goals, so practice this part of your game using different methods as much as possible. David, calm. Now, now I'm running close. Use a teammate or practice by yourself to improve this important art. All these skills you've been watching are no good to you as a player unless you are prepared to put in the hard work in your spare time. Whether it be in the front courtyard or at your favorite picnic spot. Try to have a soccer ball near you as much as possible to practice these skills. So the more games you play, the quicker these skills will become part of your game.
And remember, soccer is meant to be fun. Thank you. 